What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be talking about the new cards in NBA 2K22, my team. So we got, um, we got Ben Simmons and we got Porzingis. So every single Ben Simmons can play point guard, which is interesting. I would have thought we got at least one Ben Simmons that couldn't play point guard, but I'm not too bothered about that. And also, as you guys are new to the channel, subscribe channel, 297,000 subscribers, maybe by the end of the day. Maybe by the end of the day. We're definitely not hitting 300k by 2K23. It's all good, though. It's all good. We'll hit at some stage in 2K23. But, um, yeah. So, we got all these Ben Simmons. Every single one of them can play point guard. All I hope is that these four, four order and endgame aren't copies and paste. And I'm not looking at my chat because someone's spamming Control c Control v Which is giving me very, 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 very... Wait, why is Ben Simmons of a fan favorites card? Uh, he has, like, people don't have not liked Ben Simmons this year. People have not liked Ben Simmons this year. I do want to say that people have not liked Ben Simmons at all this year. But, um, yeah, so, let's uh, take a look at the first one. So, very quick, quick, Ben Simmons size, a quick dribble style, Kobe escape. Is that the same six as this one had? Ben Simmons, Kobe. So he's at the same sigs as the as the Invincible. Only an 83 ball, but he has most of the key shooting bags. He's not bad. As far as anniversary cards, he's not bad. He's really not. Like, he's cool. He's a cool card, top. I really don't mind this card at all. He's not bad. This is just Invincible, Ben. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, he is the best freaking size up for a big man in the game. No way. The best size up for a big man in this game. Is he having 245? No, he's not. So we can do the tray escape. Normal laner. All right. This Ben Simmons is hell. This Ben Simmons is absolutely hell. This, is, this Ben Simmons is absolutely hell. Wow. This is just, this is better Invincible Ben. He's way better. Someone said he's over PG Jokic. He's way better than Point Guard Jokic. This card is way better than Point Guard Jokic. Fan favorites Ben. The exact same card except he plays the two. And he's a worse three ball. One of these, ha one of these has to be cheap anyway, don't they? One of these has to be cheap. So I don't actually mind too much because he's probably going to play point guard anyway. They're the same card, like, you just get five extra halves and a little bit of better three ball. Then we got Ben Simmons Invincible. Like, the exact same. So these are all Control-C, Control-V. These are literally Control-C, Control-V at this stage. One is point guard small forward, the other is point guard center, the other is point guard shooting guard. So he can play, you can get a Ben Simmons that plays every position. Like small forward, center, shooting guard, point guard. Yeah. And they can all play point guard. But, um, yeah. What are they going to give him? Are they going to give him, are they going to make him John Smith or Joe Smith? I'm guessing John Smith. No, they made him the first point guard in the game of Session 25. D Rose, Curry, Slide. You know what? Like, he's not copy paste. He's the first point guard in the game of Session 25. So at least he's something a little bit different. At least he is something a little bit different, lads. Um. Yeah. Um, people, someone just said if the Ben Simmons has the J.R. Smith glitch, you can run him one through five. Unfortunately, J.R. or Ben Simmons does not have the J.R. Smith glitch. The Jerry Smith glitch was only because he was a brand new um he was a brand new player in the game. But um yeah, so that's uh Ben Simmons. We've gotten the anniversary who's slightly worse. We have gotten three cards that are copies and pastes of each other that are the exact same card. I love how they have the Australian flag for Ben Simmons. And there is maybe no basketball player hated in Australia more than Ben Simmons. 
they genuinely strongly strongly dislike him so that's kind of funny that he's like of all the things you know for simmons they gave australia and he's not very well liked in australia okay so i'm guessing the gamma poor zingus is where most people are gonna be is what most people are gonna be using and obviously we got end game here so poor zingus i wish they had a small four power four version of poor zingus like, I wish one of these center power, this center power forward was a small forward power forward. Because at least it could be, um, at least, um, like he could be used there, but, I mean, this card himself is good. Lopez, oh, no, no, no. He's, he's basically just copy paste. He's just a copy paste him. Um, sorry, I just got to ban someone from my chat. Uh, get banned just like you got blocked on Twitter now get banned from Twitch chat but um then we have got Porzingis shooting a small four point guard Kobe escaped Donchitz oh no 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 that's not good he's going to suck a point guard by the way He's a good small forward, though. He might be the best small forward. He he's he would be the best shoot, maybe the best shooting guard in the game. The only issue, like the only issue with this, is that Bobo is coming soon, and we know Bobo is coming soon. But I definitely think you you want to use him at small forward. You really do want to use him at small forward. Like he's not a point guard. Like Simmons is way better at point guard. But like this Porzingis sucks. This Porzingis is pretty good. Then we've got Gamma Porzingis, who is going to be like 100k. So we're talking about it's going to be like 15k. This Porzingis is going to be 100k. This Porzingis is going to be about 15k. He's going to be a perfectly fine player to run a power forward. He's probably better than Chet. Uh, maybe. Maybe. He might be better than Chet. Basically, what you're going to be getting with Porzingis is you're going to be getting one of the, like, the best cheap power forward not named Ralph Sampson. That's what you're going to be getting. You're going to be getting the best cheap point guard not named Ralph. And I just want to check, what's his post hook? So, he just gets the normal hook shot. He doesn't get, like, the Embiid hook shot. But, yeah, that's basically what it is with Porzingis. You're, like, you want to run with KP at the, uh at the power forward position like if you want to run your budget lineup again what well, you're probably going to want to run if you are on a, um, a budget is now we've got you can run this type of line if you're on a budget you can go like ben simmons and um, i'm guessing that this ben simmons is gonna be cheaper you can run like ben simmons jordan um where is so many damn jordans you can run Kawhi. Kawhi Mystic. And then obviously most people will have Ralph in here and Taco. Ralph, Taco. And then off the bench, you've got now like... Um, or some other version of Taco. And off the bench now, you've got the Yao Ming who can play center. Now you've also, instead of having to like struggle for that power forward position, or maybe you're on like a Giannis there, you can now also run a Porzingis in this slot right here. And like you're looking at outside of this Taco Fall every and Kawhi, every one of these cards is going to be under 20k more than likely. And then if you're on current gen, Kristaps is probably better than Ralph Sampson. So, like, if you want to say Kristaps is better than Ralph, be my guest. And you can swap Kristaps. You can have Kristaps and Ralph completely swapped. You can start with Kristaps, this lineup, like, here. And what it means is that you don't need to run, like, a Yao Ming or a Taco Power Forward. You gain, like, a lot more speed and you're pretty decent. So, um... Yeah, like if you are a budget, and obviously if you have a little bit more MT, you can go and get the point guard Jordan, the shooting guard Ben Simmons, if you have a little bit more MT, but this is probably the cheapest way you're going to go about it. So that's why I like this, that's why I like this guy on forcing his card. And then we have got um, a card that's going to be almost indistinguishable in the game from the guy on forcing his. Does guy on forcing have hyperdrive? He does, as on gold. Can be completely indistinguishable. Don't just, don't just size of Kobe escape, quick dribble stop, Brooke Lopez. 
Did he get better SIGs other than Fundamental on this one? No. He didn't get any SIGs at all. Yeah, his dribble SIGs are bad. But he's fine. He's still a really good power forward. I wouldn't... I'd strongly advise using Gamma instead of this one because they're going to be indistinguishable in-game. And then we got end-game pre -stops. Okay, someone's already spoiled by his releases. He actually is the tallest player in the game at base 3. They gave us the first point guard base... But they gave him Trey Escape, Trey Young Fade, D Row Size Up. He's interesting. He is very, very interesting, this Porzingis card here. I think he could probably be the best small forward in the game. Or say not small forward, power forward in the game. Because he's gonna move a lot better than say Yao Ming is than um than Ralph is. Than a lot of other guys. Because the way he's gonna move, he probably is gonna be the best power forward in the game. Which is like absolutely crazy. He's like freaking him. This card is freaking him, lads. So of all the Porzingis, I probably avoid this one. Which I, like, if you can get the best place to play Porzingis would be power forward if you want to run a five man. Because then it means that you can use like your Ralph or your Yao power forward, and you could use Porzingis a small forward. If not, playing a power forward is perfectly fine either. But like. These three Simmons are copy and paste each other. They play different positions. I'm Simmons Porzingis. And like this isn't as much. This is still a little bit of control C, control V. Three of these Ben Simmons cards are the same. But I will say. This is less control C, control V than last week. Last week was the ultimate control C, control V set. Like last week was horrendous in terms of 2K literally just giving us a copy and paste set in my team. So anyway, yeah, that is the video, lads. Let me know what you guys think. I'm probably going to use both Simmons and Porzingis, not going to lie. I'm probably going to use both of them. But at the same time, I don't think either of them are going to be like game-breaking cards. I just know that they're waiting and stalling on Luka. And at this stage, I just want Luka. The game's already dead. They've already killed... 2K have already killed their game. I just want them to release Luka at this stage. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.